Hi, parents. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm coming to see you so I can give you some tips on uh, helping your kids with some small arguments that just don't need to happen. So, um, uh, when my kids were younger and they were finally both old enough to sit in the front seat, I, we were having such a hard time because they all, they both wanted to take turns and we didn't want the oldest sibling always being in the front and we didn't know how to work that out, but there were arguments, quite a few arguments, and I wasn't a fan. And so I got really lucky, and I had I had one child that was born on the 20th and one child that was born on the 5th. So one was an even number and one was an odd number kids. So on that day, it just so happened that my oldest child got to be in the front seat first. Because on an even day, so if it's the 14th, then your whoever's birthday has the even number, that's the even number kid. Well, then the kiddo who's the odd number kid has all the odd number days. Well, that worked out for me. And oh my gosh, just because I had the kiddos do that, anytime we had to make a decision and they were about to have an argument, I said, well, it's even number kid. And then that kid was the one in charge of making a decision, and then there was lot, a lot less arguments. If you don't have that, and you have two children that are both born on even days, you can have child one and child two, who's born first, who's born second. If you're born first, then you're an odd number kid, and if you're born second, you're the even number kid. And, you know, that works for most families, because a lot of families have two kids. Uh, I don't know if it works so much when you have three kids. I uh, the, the next step with that is um, just uh, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> or once you have more kids, I think mom needs to just ask a child, okay, what's it going to be? And you just pick a child. And um, they might make the decision. or um, and, and you just try to keep it fair. Uh, as a parent with more kids and if you only have one child you know there's less there's less arguments there because you know they are they are the one and only so that's really great um, today I had to talk with the kids about using a really quiet voice on my reading so make sure the kids go to um, Miss Freitas time and listen to my book readings because I'm helping the kids with some good ideas on how they can help you at home and if you are allowing them to read a book with me, I try to throw in a tip or two to help you out, okay? So um, so tip of the day for me is um, get rid of those silly things. You know, what do you want to play first? What do you want to play second? Or it's my turn to pick a movie. Well, if you have someone who gets to go and it's an uh, even number person's turn, then it kind of alleviates only alleviates alleviates the problem that occurs when they just want to make a simple decision so I hope that helps and I hope you have a great day and remember stay positive and happy and once you've spent time at work give your kids some quality time take the time to step back from all your life stuff put your phone down go hug your kids wrestle with them play a game maybe a, a nice game of checkers or something. And if you have more than one child, golly, make sure that you're spending time with each child individually whenever you can so that you're building those connections. And um, moms, you know, make sure you get those daddies involved because sometimes they're really busy with work. But um, the more you guys partner up, the better. Uh, then, then your kids always know that you might only have one parent at home, but the parent that's there is speaking on behalf of both parents. Uh, I'm mom and dad, you know, or I'm dad and mom. And, uh, and it, it helps a lot to make sure you sound like you're a cohesive team. So the more you're working together, the more you're connecting with your kids, the more they're going to be great for you when it's time for work at home, okay? 
All right, so hope those little tips are helpful. Have a great day and just be happy. Be the great parent that you are. I'm very proud of you. Really. Bye, guys. <laughs>